Hi there, welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tips. And in this video, we'll show you in very simple steps a good um, feature that Google Meet has come up with. And hooray to Google Meet, right? And that is poll, right? The feature of poll function within Google Meet itself. And if you love this video and the future videos that will be coming up, then please click subscribe at the bottom or click subscribe on top, right? And then we will dive right in. To assess the poll function is very easy. Just click on this new icon here, right on top, all right? Click on it. The activities icon, you will see three new functions here, all right? And the poll function is right in the middle here. Just click on it. It will usually ask you if you want to start a new poll. Right, since I already have a poll question in it, right, therefore I'm brought straight into this poll function, the questions. Okay, so if you want, you can actually create new poll questions. Alright, so for example, you can click on the poll and then just type your answer straight in. Right, and then your options. And you can even add as many questions as you like, or other options as you like. Okay, and once you're ready with the question and the option, please remember to save. And then you can use it later on. That means the students won't get to see it, your participants won't get to see it now. Alright. But whenever you need to, at the, the right time, you can launch it. So what is safe, it is in this format, the launch here is not activated. So when you are ready, during the lesson or so, okay, you can either edit it further or you can launch it immediately, alright, for participants to participate in the poll. And once it's launched, you will see a green button here which will be showing live, alright. This green button shows live on the participant screen okay you can even show them the results straight away by clicking on this show everyone the results once you click on this it will be highlighted in green and everybody can see the result right so over to the participant side okay so on the participant side what they will see is there will be a green dot right here at the at the activity icon Okay, showing that there are actually some items there, right? Polls is uh, um, allows them to click on their choices. So once they click on that, activity icon, right? They will see the functions as well. We pull here, having that green dot there. Then they can click on the poll function. They will see both questions live in this case. Alright, that means they can cast their votes immediately. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's try it out. Alright. Yes. And they vote. Vote. So after they select, then until they click vote, then it will be cast. Alright, so let's say we use um, let another student cast the vote All right okay so live votes um, highly highly likely yes cast their votes cool once you are comfortable with your participants votes and you are have enough of your votes cast all right you can end the poll anytime to see the results okay so we can end once it's computed the tabulated result will be shown this way all right for each question okay the number of votes 
casted for that question and for the option will also be shown all right in details okay so if you realize that i've actually clicked for to show everyone the result only for this question how likely will you share this great tip right so on the student side in fact they can see both questions again once uh, the polls are ended but they can only see the result for that one that you have clicked to share all right how likely you will share this great tip okay they can see the total number of votes casted for all the options as well okay so now back there i'll show you if let's say you were to be out of this poll okay you can go back there anytime and to see the results again just go back to the poll and the result will still be there awesome great shout out to google meet again all right for this wonderful new feature and if you like these videos and more videos that are coming up all right please click subscribe at the bottom and give us a thumbs up and also click the bell okay and also if you can give us a, some comments cool all right and um, hope to see you again take care